Hello and welcome to my Williams Road to Glory career mode. Here today for the final two rounds of the season for the Brazilian and Australian Grand Prix. But first day is the Brazilian Grand Prix and here is the grid. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position. Edging out Lando Norris, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Latifi, Charles Leclerc and Ricardo, Perez, Gasly, Russell and Sebastian Vettel, Mick Schumacher, Stroll and Guan Yu Zhou, Brown, Sonoda. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Giovinazzi, Christian Lundgaard and Esteban Ocon. Sainz, they've taken a grid penalty and Nikita Mazepin. And now it's time to head down to the track. So we're starting 14th, one stop. The game was assisted onto the highs, but we learn onto the mediums. Here we go then. Lando's looking for redemption. Can he win? The Brazilian Grand Prix lights out and away we go. And it's a good start by Valtteri Bottas down into turn one. We've sent it, starting 14th. Getting a couple of places now. In front of us, the Haas and the uh, Alpine. We always feel like we're battling the Alpine. Look at the launch. Bottas got his gone from Lando Norris. He's been sent it down the inside again. Now we're right. Just about staying ahead of the Haas and in front of next. He's nearly, he nearly hit our teammate there going past Sergio Perez. Last Mexico. Here comes Paris though on the back of this. Really struggling. We have to go back to an older engine after it blew um, back in Japan last episode. And here comes Paris again on the back of this. Getting closer, he's getting closer. Pulls to the outside, he's squeezing a bit like that. And round the outside, Paris goes into the center S's. And we force him wide, you can see how much time we're losing out. We just had no pace in this race. And now, side by side, Perez looks to have got us, but we've broken later into turn one. And we stayed ahead, and now Sebastian Vettel is having a little look at Sergio Perez. Perez has another look at us down the inside. And now he's got us, and uh, Sebastian Vettel's gone, oh, I'll have a look as well, and he's got us as well. We've lost two places there. And behind us now is the Haas. As we go wide, and now we're side by side with Mick Schumacher. That's how we look for him, we've lost out now. And now we're better than Mick Schumacher. And we're really, really struggling this race. Mick Schumacher for about around our outside. Had no luck there. But on the curb, we've gone off. We've had a big moment. Nearly dropped it. And we've been absolutely mugged because of that. And now, right behind this Carlos Sainz, as we look to get past the Avatari. And now, while I was recording this, I remembered what happened last year when Sainz sent it on us. It's down the inside. We've gone wide. We've got him. Back down the inside we go. I remember what happened last year after Canada and after what happened here when he sent it and damaged our front wing. He's got to say Carlos Sainz. And now we're going to pull back to the inside. We're going to squeeze him because I hadn't forgotten. And stand there's, there's Carlos Sainz. He's in the wall. Carlos Sainz is out to the Brazilian Grand Prix. What have we done here? What have we done? Go to the inside, we get him. I gave him a little squeeze because I remember about last year and I don't let things go. But so it's good because we got wide. And then we just came clean back at the inside with the slipstream and he just He dropped on his own. Nothing to do with me. Dropped on his own. I was miles up the road. As safety car comes out we're gonna pit. 
a little bit earlier than probably one or two, like seven. Onto the mediums. This is what we, we might have to do with. Today. One stop might have to do with two stop as Jeff says that. Safety car comes in now, and it's going to be Bottas leading away again from Norris and Max Verstappen, who I believe can wrap up the title here today. Last time we were here, we had that four way battle for the championship that Perez came out on top of. And now here we go, have we got more pace on these medium tyres as we get Sergio Perez into turn one and also Daniel Ricciardo. As here, Sergio Perez gets past this down the inside. And there is God and then um, Daniel Ricciardo up in the background. Let's here we go. There's there's Sergio Perez round the outside of of the Alfa Romeo of Lungard as we go round the try to go round the outside. But we definitely have a go into turn four now. And we do have a go into turn four. Down the inside. Job done. Oh no. The Danish. As here comes Sergio Perez and we were just trying to stick with Perez. Just and we were doing it quite well is now on the back of Esteban Ocon here. I always think I was missing in this career mate, because I always feel like Every time we battle an Alpine, it's always Granny Joy. As now then, Perez gets past Nikita Mazepin. As we get re overtaken by Esteban Ocon into turn one. And now we've lost touch with the Mexican. Is this now Daniel Ricciardo? That, slow, that shows you how slow we were going has in fact caught us back up and now around the outside we try to go try and force him wide and he does get past as the Australian bit of redemption for him as he then goes past to get past it to find up one and now here we go oh we've dropped it like we did earlier in the race we've been hit by the Alfa Romeo and we are out at the Brazilian Grand Prix Big mistake there. And we're out of the Brazilian Grand Prix for not the first time. With that, another year of Formula One draws to a close, and the new World Drivers' Champion is declared. Another entry added to that prestigious list of the sport's most incredible drivers. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. There you go then, Max Verstappen, your world champion. Some people argue that's his first legit one, but we don't need to talk about that. Absolutely unbelievable, Max Verstappen, this season in their career mode, beating the two Mercedes, who Bottas has now jumped, Nicholas Latifi. But yeah, it's time then to go to the final round at the Australian Grand Prix for the first time in this career mode as well. Here we go then, last round of the season here in Australia for the first time in the career mode. Normally the first race, now it's the last race. Who can win the Australian Grand Prix to round out the season with an excellent result? Here is the grid. Yesterday from Valtteri Bottas, the Finn starts from pole position and P2 goes to Daniel Ricciardo, a strong showing from the Australian. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Verstappen, Latifi, Lando Norris and Leclerc, Russell, Sainz, Sonoda and Pierre Gasly, Perez, Stroll, Sebastian Vettel and Giovinazzi. 
Brown, Mick Schumacher, and Guan Yu Zhou, and Nikita Mazepin. Ocon, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Christian Lungard. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So it's a pretty easy one stop then. Let's see if we go then to the, the five red lights for the final time for season four. This lights out and away we go. And it will in the background we're just wrestling for position as Bottas is away again Ricardo in the mix is round the outside there's the Red Bull we go down the inside into turn one Ricardo's inside to see George there as we are gonna wait for it just send it down the inside probably not as aggressive as normally am and on the back now of the Alpha Tari of Pierre Gasly as we've got past and it's the Sonoda, we've got we've got ahead of Big Gasly. And now we're on the back of the Japanese driver. Who halfway through this season felt like we were constantly battling him. But he got away and now we're left battling Pierre Gasly. We managed to get away from those behind us. Lance Stroll. There's round the outside goes Pierre Gasly. You don't go around my outside of it, you're gonna get away with it. You're right, we're still there. On, all the way on to lap 4 can we get back it is very hard to overtake here but can we really overtake the Frenchman into turn 1 we've got a great launch off the final corner is it enough though no no it's not it's here we go now we can't quite get him Gasly went up the road and now we've gone off the track we've gone wide we've spun we've copied and pasted what Carlos Sainz did and now we've come back onto the track and that's a huge crash that's an absolutely huge crash that was Lance Stroll, that was an Alfa Romeo and now we are going to pull over to retire from the Australian Grand Prix on lap 11 to round out season 4 the season there but they can go into the winter with their heads held high after an emphatic victory here today so Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. So Nicholas Latifi won the first round of the season and he's won the last whole season in a massive Latifi sandwich. But what a big crash that was. Caused by me, we lost it, we dropped it. Here's the standings for the final time. But yeah, we'll have a look at that incident in just a second. Here's the constructors. And here is what happened. So we went wide off the track and we just dropped it. And then we spun, and then I don't know what I was doing here. Come back on the onto the track, right into the path of Lance Stroll, and you can see the Alfa Romeo there as well. And then off into the barrier, and then I pulled over to the side to retire from the Grand Prix. And Nikita Mazepin's mixed up there as well, somehow. And now here was Lance Stroll's point of view. We were just parked in the middle of the track, and to be fair. Though he was approached on speed, there was a lot of places he could have gone. And it was Chief and Alpsy who got caught up. And he, he got the hole he hit after Charles spun. Here comes Sergio Perez, his view. Charles and Carbon Fibre nearly there. It's the back of the Alfa Romeo of Chief and Alpsy. But yeah, that's, that's the season. Bit of a not sad way to end it. But yeah, this would be the end of the career mode, but I've decided that I'm going to make a season 5, it's going to come in very soon. 
not long after this video because it's a pretty shit way to end the career mode with two DNFs. So it's going to be one long video of the entire season. Obviously, it'll be more condensed down, won't be as long highlights. So get the popcorn. So get ready for season five. Goodbye.